Understanding window properties. First I'm going to go up to modify, select modify. I'm going to go over and pick this window. Now, if I go over to the properties and go to edit type, I'm actually editing the family of this uh, particular window. And I can change any of the values, but if I'm going to do that, I'm going to go up and I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to then rename it. Never change the original. So I'm going to duplicate, rename it. I can come in and I can change the values. I have different categories such as construction, materials and finishes, dimensions, and identity data. And down below I have some IFC parameters and analytical properties. So I can change things about these windows. Now remember just changing the size here. Uh, does not change the name and changing the name doesn't change the size here so we want to make those adjustments also um, maybe we don't have what we want if that's the case I can always go up and hit the load button when I hit load it goes out to the US Imperial feet and inches uh, and it'll look through a library of things and I come down here and say I can go to Windows and I can load in more families, Revit families. Remember those are uh, uh, parametric families so of different types so I can add in a double hung window for example if that's the kind I need or a casement so I can crank window out. Uh, so I have all kinds of different types of things. I got louvers and things of that nature. So I got a round window. I got a skylight, you know. So all these different uh, types of windows I can add in and have a more choice when it comes time to choose my type of window.